Hi beautiful people welcome to our developers diary YouTube channel. Today we shall learn how to use Axios interceptors in React.js for refresh and access tokens. In the previous video, we have learned state persist in React.js. Link is mentioned in description. For refresh and access token concept, kindly view the playlist link of this series in description. Kindly subscribe to our channel so that you get amazing and informative videos. So let's start. In first three steps we shall sign in with user credentials. Server will authenticate credentials and generate some web tokens, then return user info with JWT tokens. We shall store refresh and access tokens. Let's store tokens in browser storage. We shall store refresh token in local storage and access token in session storage. So that when browser session will end or browser window get close then access token get removes but refresh token remain persist. Let's login with user credentials. Now you can see the refresh token in local storage and access token in session storage. Thus, first three steps are completed. Now implement fourth step with the help of Axios interceptors. Let's create a custom Axios folder and a file with JS extension. Let's import Axios and create custom Axios with its create function and export it as default. Axios contain request and response interceptors. In Axios request interceptor you can modify the request before sending to the server, like adding token in header. Similarly, in Axios response interceptor you can modify the response before sending to the client, like in case of error response, send another request for new JWT tokens and after that call original request with these new tokens, so that client gets secure information without login again and again after expiration of access token. Let's implement this. First we shall use request interceptor of custom Axios. Then we shall use response interceptor of custom Axios. Both contain two promises, second one is error promise. In step 4, we shall modify the header and add access token in it that we have stored in the session storage of browser. Here x access token is our token key name. So, modify request header and assign our access token to this.
In step 5, server validates the token. We have completed our server side coding in this tutorial series. Kindly check playlist link in description. In step 6 server sends the token expire message and Axios response interceptor error promise get that message. So, let do step 6 in React.js. First we shall check the response status. If status is 401 then we shall perform step 7 and get new access and refresh token by sending a new request using refresh token that we have store in browser local storage. Then we check if response of new request is fine then we shall store new tokens in our browser storage. Thus we have covered step 8 and 9. Server validation of old refresh token and sending new tokens. Now let's call another API in our React application that server validates the access token before invoking this API. If token will expire then return 401 status code. Import this custom Axios and call API with this Axios. Our API and URI is home. Let's call this API on button click. New token message is showing but there is an caught error. Let's resolve it. Instead of promise reject use promise resolve. Now we can see 401 status unauthorized is showing. Let remove access token manually and check new one received or not. New one has been received successfully and store in browser session storage. Thus step 9 has been completed. Now we want to call the original request that we have called in step 4 after this step 9 with new access token in request header. So, let's store the original request in a variable using error config attribute.
Then call this original request with your custom created Axios. Let's store this value of home API in the use state of React.js. Show the value of state at page div. Let's add return keyword for promise return. Let's remove the access token manually. New tokens have been received and after that original API is called. Also result of home API is showing at page. Let's show the method and URI of the API which is invoking by custom Axios by using template literal in console log. Now you can see, first home API is called but access token was expire so 401 error is showing. Let's compare with our interceptor token flow diagram. In step 4 home request invokes, in step 5 server validates token and return token expire message in step 6. Then in step 7, new refresh token request invokes and new tokens received. Then again step 4 original request calls. Let's check if error returns in case of invoking refresh token API. Then it means refresh token does not exist and someone is trying to steal your account information. So, we have to ask user to sign in again. So we shall remove access token and refresh token from browser local storage. And then redirect the page to the base URL of the website. Also remove the persist information of the user that we have learned in last video of this tutorial series. In our case access token expires in 30 second, but for testing we shall remove the access token manually and call the home API, new token received. So let's recap the response interceptor of custom Axios. First, we shall check response status if 401 then request for the new tokens and after getting new tokens call the original request. Let's test our working. Click the button. Now access token is expired. New tokens are received and original request is called. In our server side coding we have mentioned expire time of every access token 30 seconds in our previous tutorials of this series. Thus we have successfully completed our Axios interceptors with JWT tokens in this tutorial. Thanks for watching.